Breaking news from the Northwest Missouri State Athletic Department today, and it's what we feared. The COVID-19 pandemic has officially caused both Northwest exhibition games to be canceled with cases popping up within both teams. Now in light of that, Northwest will begin preparations for its September 2nd opener coming up against Fort Hayes State. That means once they tee it up for kickoff in Hayes, Kansas, they'll have gone 635 days since their last game. To watch it unfold and, and watch how they figured out that it was, that they had no control of the situation, but they had control of how they dealt with it and what their response was gonna be was, um, you know, made me very encouraged about the things that we could do moving forward this season. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucked, obviously. You know, it's not something that was just, you know, only that happened to our team. Uh, it was the entire country, and that was kind of a big focus on this year is, like, who's going to use that time the best. About that time, baby. And then just, like, that bond of grinding with each other for as long as we did, I mean, it naturally pulled people together. We had a pool day, and it was an hour long. And there's just a bunch of guys in a pool having fun, jumping around. Some of the big boys were up there belly flopping off the diving boards. That was awesome. I'll never forget that night. First day of pads, physical and taking care of one another. Heading out into pre-practice. Day three, got to be better than day one and two, right? You know, there's something to be said with just grinding with with your family and with your brothers for over 600 some days, you know, without that reward of the game and just trying to push each other to keep getting better throughout that long period of time for that moment. Um, it was pretty special. It's been over 600 days since we got to go do this for real. It has been a long time. I know a lot of folks have been waiting for this moment right here. This is what they've been waiting on. I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. It is a safety. So the Rickett's on the board first. And they want to hand off left side. And into the end zone. Touchdown Northwest. Al McKellar with his first touchdown as a Bearcat. And Northwest ate up this Fort Hayes State defense just with their physicality. Caden Davis comes up with a catch. He's into the end zone. Touchdown Northwest. Throws it up in the air for a prayer. It is picked off as the Bearcats hold on and win this one 15-7. You know, the thing that makes Maryville and Northwest special, it's always been a college town. Uh, it's always been, you know, completely immersed in, in the community and the community support. Maryville on a game day, it's, it's fantastic. You know, I, I always get to hear the stories from my parents about how like the whole town is just shut down. I mean, there's nothing like waking up on a home game day, just knowing that we're gonna have packed house no matter what cheering for us. And it shows just how much kind of like the whole community and surrounding areas care, the students. People love being here and our band just shows out every single week. The catwalk is kind of like the beginning of kind of getting that adrenaline going in your body. And you know, you got all the parents tailgating out there and it's always a really good experience. Come on, let's go Bearcats! Let's go Bearcats! Yeah, I think the first time that we were back in Bearcat Stadium, was something special. Uh, family day here is always a big deal. The red's really cool to see, because red's not really in our color scheme on, on Saturdays, but um, obviously Coach Wright always wears a red hat, but seeing all the other red in the stands, and that's really cool, just a unique day. And then once you finally get into the locker room and then you start getting dressed, that momentum is just starting to build up and build up. And then when you finally go out there to start warming up and stretching, you start seeing fans, you know, start to file into the into the stands, and then we come back in as a team. You're gonna play for the guys that came before you, that built this tradition and has brought it to where it is now. That stadium has been asleep for 655 days. Time it's got woken up. You ready to rock? Sure. 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 And then when we go 
back out, it's always like thousands of people showed up in just that t 10 to 15 minute span. And you go through the tunnel and all the smoke and it's, you know, there's something to be said that like, just nothing can explain it unless you've experienced it. Hand off McKellar, trying to release blocking on the right side of the line. He told it to the 10 to five, touchdown Northwest! Calhoun is taking shots from all of these guys throughout the day. It's been a, an impressive day for Northwest. And it's up for grabs in the end zone, and it is. Back to pass once he hit as he throws. Right side pass cut. Touchdown, Northwest. What an effort by Caden Davis making that catch, diving for the goal line. Well, that's the end of the game. Ichabod's going out to midfield celebrating as they knock off the number two ranked team in the nation in the Northwest Missouri State Bearcats this afternoon, 17-16. I think any time that you experience failure, um, there's lessons to be learned. You know, it wakes you up to the fact that you got to bring it even harder every day, whether you're the better team or not. I honestly believe that game made us better as a team because we really had to sit back and look at ourselves and you know, we, we knew we didn't go out there and play good enough. You know, just because you have a paw on your side of your helmet and you wear green does not, you know, automatically mean you're going to win games week in and week out. There's a there's a price that has to be paid and, and details matter. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh! There's not much to say, guys. You know what's on the line. Think back for every single one of you, whether you're a transfer or you're a four-year guy, why did you come here? You came here to play in moments like this. It's not about what happens, it's about our response to what happens. Hang in the fray together for 60 minutes and find me a way. Try to get Stevens on the left side of the numbers to the 20, 25 to the 30, sideline to the 40, to midfield at the 45, down the sideline, 40 to the 30, to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Northwest! Great play by Hembro, bringing that one in with one hand. And to the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Northwest! It's been all Northwest so far. They are just putting on an impressive display this afternoon. We just had fun. It was it was homecoming. We didn't have to bring energy that day. You know, it was already energetic. There was already a buzz. It's part of the whole family culture we have is everybody comes back. You see a lot of people you used to see. Um, everyone's very loyal to this place. It grabs you like you just become a part of Bearcat Nation. And um, it's a cool deal because it's not like that everywhere else. It was emotional. I mean, you know, you saw Bearcat equipment put stuff on the back of our helmets that our parents said and just you just sit back and reflect on how you got here, your journey, and just all the way coming from, for me as a walk-on to a senior, team captain, starter, just something that was really special to me. And I could run you a laundry list of guys that, that came here just wanting an opportunity. And to watch that come full circle and, and to see them uh, finish their senior year and, and on scholarship and playing significant snaps is a testament to the type of kid that we try and bring in. It's it's special. That is Donadell with some room between the hashes. He's out to midfield and a sprint. What a start to this game so far. Heck of a play by Khalil Smith. Played that one perfect. Gleason just had absolutely no chance to get that pass away as that front four for the Bearcats got in the backfield very quickly. <laughs> Breaks a tackle at the 10 yard line to the five. Touchdown Northwest. That was one of our goals is just coming in here and winning the outright MIAA title and something we did. And all of us got behind each other and knew we wanted to do it and we went out and executed it. You know, take advantage of our opportunities and win that conference championship. That was a huge deal for us because, you know, we know, we understand how hard it is to win football games every Saturday. Northwest Missouri State is a three seed in the first round. Host America first the program's 31st MIAA regular season title. Their opposition is Central Washington, sixth NCAA appearance and first since 2017. 
Don't care where we're seated. Care where we're going. We're a three seed. Play a home game. We now know. It's it's what everyone plays football for is to play in those postseason games and you know just try not to lose sight of that um, and just taking it day by day in the playoffs and just getting ready to go because you know it's winter go home time. You got to remember because the MIAA was our first goal. Mission complete. Put it away. We just started a new book. You wrote the first story. It's time to go chase greatness. Right, wants to throw down the middle. Field caught by Donadale. The left hash at the five yard line. Dives through the goal line. Touchdown Northwest. Play action. Glasper rolls left. Hit and drop from behind. There's Sam Roberts to make the tackle. The MIAA's defensive player of the year. You know, along the journey, there, there, it became very apparent how much they cared um, about one another, not just with what was going on the field, but what was happening off of it. They just genuinely cared for one another like families do. If you ask all the coaches, the players, that's some, always one of our goals is to have Thanksgiving together. Because that's something you usually do with your blood family, but you have the opportunity to do with these guys and it makes it pretty special. Our heads, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for spending time with our family. We thank you for uh, those that prepared the meal and this time that we could just spend together, God. We just pray that you would get the glory today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We went to a and this year for Thanksgiving. It was phenomenal as a team. And I love when we have full Thanksgiving as a team. We go to the Elks as a team. On that Wednesday night of Thanksgiving week, you know, it's a lot of time more where we can really just bond and be a family because, you know, when we can't go see our our actual family, our blood relative family, you know, we get to be with our football family. And that's special and that not a lot of people get to do across One, this country. Two, three. Oh, yeah! And next week we get on the road and go down to Arkansas to play Harding. And we knew they were going to be a tough opponent. And we brought it. Um, that was a battle for all 60 minutes. Uh, they're a great team. Time, lunch, throws, Donadale at the goal line, touchdown, Northwest! And Tatum's been a zone killer all year long and able to just sit down in the spot right there if the chains move again. This Northwest defense has turned it up a notch. It's caught right sideline by Tatum down the sideline. Running over defenders to get to the two. Looked like Zach Howard was untouched getting back there after Payton. Davis coming across the middle, a huge play there for the Cats. Ball game. Good afternoon and welcome to Big Rapids of Michigan on the Fair State campus. So a huge matchup between two premier college football programs. Steps up in the pocket, fires it across the middle, pass caught by Moya, she's into the end zone, touchdown Northwest. Mitchell back to pass, flush down the pocket, ball loose on the turf. Bearcat season coming to a close with a record of 11 and 2. A very good season for this Northwest football team, making it to the quarterfinal round of the NCAA Division II playoffs. A game doesn't define you one way or the other. I appreciated the year, I appreciated the journey, and I love each and every one of you. And if there's ever anything I can do for you, you let me know, okay? But I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you how proud I am of all of you making this journey for us. Family. Always, always will be. To be able to hang in there for as long as we did and for as many seniors to come back, it just speaks volumes to how much this program and how much this season meant to us. You know, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of this team for battling to the last second in every single game. You know, there's a lot of guys in here that, you know, sacrificed a lot to be here and uh, I'll never forget that. You talk about, you know, memories and moments that you shared together while you were here. Um, I think if you're doing it right, these kids are, are a part of your family and a part of your life, not just for the time that they're here, but forever. You know, I really think we just truly did love everyone next to us because we all had one goal in mind, and that goal drew us closer together, um, and that made us a family. I think I'm gonna miss the most just being with the guys, being with the team, and you know, just laughing, joking around. What we're going to have to get back and do better than anybody else in the country, we're going to have to be tough and we're going to have to work hard. And that's what we're going to have to hang our hat on. What we got to do is, is we got to build it brick by brick and it's got to start the moment that they get back to campus. There needs to be a hunger and a burn around here that, that is, this is our time. The core 
the foundation is gonna have to come from within. And so I'm just interested to see, will they take that next step? Thank you.